Welcome to the Land House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. This is my outdoor electronics shed for both my solar power and micro hydro power. I have eight AGM batteries that I'm going to be replacing with a single lithium iron phosphate battery. It should significantly increase my output here for my uh, power shed. But uh, in order to keep a lithium iron phosphate battery warm above 32 degrees, I'm gonna be placing it in the crawl space of my house. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is drilling a hole from my power shed here out to my house crawl space and then adding six feet of, I think it's two gauge wire that will allow me to go from here into the house and store the battery under there so that I can use that nice big battery. So anyway, let's go ahead and begin moving, uh, I guess a pipe or a conduit pipe from this side to the house. This is the EFG lithium iron phosphate battery. It's a five kilowatt hour. And this one battery will replace the, all of those AGMs and have significantly more output. I'm gonna have a full review on this battery coming up soon. I also have this two gauge uh, wire here. It already has the terminal ends on it. And this is going to go from the power shed underneath the house and uh, connect to this battery, which will be mounted on the wall. So in order to put the holes into the wall, I have a couple of these uh, masonry bits and a hammer drill and I'm going to be installing this two inch piece of conduit. I figured I'm going to have a data cable and then I'm going to have uh, these two cables going through there. Just be nice to uh, have something big enough to easily slide that wire through. Currently all eight of these AGM batteries are connected with the negative right here on this shunt and the positive over here on this bus bar. And so when I remove all of these batteries, I will have the option to connect here again. And I need to have a breaker box that will turn off the battery from in here. And uh, so the other side of the battery will connect right there. Um, what I'm gonna do is drill a hole down into the floor of this little power shed. And I'm gonna install a one and a quarter inch piece of conduit pipe. So basically this piece will be sticking up right here. And what that's gonna allow me to do is take this 90 piece down. I've marked uh, right here is where I want this to go. So this will be up under here like that. And this other end will allow me to bring a piece of conduit pipe and go down in here. Now, the reason I'm going so low is because I'm gonna mount the battery up here to make my uh, seven foot cable uh, reach from inside of the building here to where the battery is gonna be over here. So what we need to do is go under the house and uh, find this spot right here and start drilling a uh, hole that will allow the inch and a quarter conduit to reach through. And basically it just needs to have a piece long enough to go from there into the house. It's gonna look something like this with my other piece. So just a piece coming through, that right there will extend further because this will be up under the building. There's not much light down here in my crawl space, so I won't film down here too much. So basically I wanna go 16 inches over from my previous pipe here, which is this one right here. And then you come down to match uh, a previous pipe I have over there. So this is the block here we need to drill into. Let's center this one right here. This probably doesn't translate for you at all on camera. Uh, so you'll be able to see a bit better when we step outside here. I'm gonna start off with a small masonry bit here on this circle just above it actually. Turn this to a hammer drill. That's better. After I've gone around that circle one time, I'm gonna step up to the next size of masonry bit. Step up one more time. This should start popping through some of these holes. All 
All right, just got that through. So hopefully this piece of conduit slides. Good, it sure does. All right, and now I'm gonna move back down to my smallest bit again. And I should be able to reach from this side all the way through to the other side and just get a marker so I know where the, uh, the point is. I need to start drilling on the other side. All right, and we're through. The hole has popped out right here, so I'm going to repeat the same steps. I won't bore you with all that, but uh, just wanted to show you where I, what I'm working with here. So uh, like I did in there, kind of making a little uh, circular spot here. And then I can go back with this smaller one and just go slightly outside that circle and uh, begin this process again. Just got the hole cut into the house here. Now it's time to slide this piece of inch and a quarter conduit in. Need to match up with the other side. Now obviously this 10 foot piece is way too much. Um, but what I wanna go ahead and do is use this bell on this side. And uh, I'm gonna come back and glue this in just a moment. I just kinda wanna get a, uh, a test fit for where this is going to reach out to and then find my spot over here under the building. So you can't really see that, but this little uh, piece right here goes up under the building. I'm gonna make sure it's uh, pretty well flat here, and then I'll have to add an extension piece to get up in there. I just calculated that I need another foot to be able to reach from down here up into the building. So let's cut off a foot here. And that gives me just a little bit extra up in there to work with. Hopefully I'll be able to cut this with my uh, PVC cutters here. There we go, not too terrible. All right, so this other piece I'll cut off whenever we're down under the house. It's got that there. Need to glue this piece right here and then use a coupling to get this piece up into the building, but we won't do that until we have the hole cut in the building. Just like I did under the house, I pushed one uh, drill bit up through the bottom of the little power shed. So now I can take this piece here, draw my circle, and then start cutting out a hole for that pipe to fit through. And that will help me get my uh, correct size hole, and we will be rocking and rolling then. With that hardy siding out of the way, I felt like a uh, hole saw would be the easiest thing. So I'm gonna try to get that down in here. Okay, now that I have the hole cut into the floor of the power shed here, I'm gonna get these bits uh, glued together. That'll just help keep any kind of moisture out. I'm also going to apply some caulking around the open hole over here to keep all the bugs and moisture out. My wireless microphone died on me, so here's a voiceover. Now that I have the conduit pipe into the floor of my power shed, I'm gonna take these two gauge cables and shove them down into the hole until they stick out into the crawl space of the house. Up here in the power shed, I just need to make sure I have enough length that I can connect to the bus bar and the shunt, and that way I can connect everything from the battery. Now under the crawl space, I just want to make sure I have enough extra cable that I can connect to the terminals of the battery. And I think I will be just fine with this length. Right, here. This bracket will mount to the wall as it is seen right here. And that will allow the battery to then slip down over these metal clips here and essentially be able to support itself on the wall. So definitely stay tuned for when I do a full breakdown of this battery to show you the internals, and then we'll go put it on the wall and connect 
our system to it and hopefully get a lot of good use out of this five kilowatt hour battery. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much. It's actually uh, turned off quite cold out here a couple days after filming the other portion of this video. Some people were asking, I thought you were gonna have the um, electronics out here and why are you putting solar wire under the house? Well, I'm gonna have two systems in place. This one out here is gonna have a, a grid tie inverter over here, but it's gonna be the same as these little 1000 watt units, but it's going to be a 3000 watt unit. So um, stay tuned for that. It's gonna have the same CT clamps over the main power and uh, it's gonna basically allow uh, 3600 watts into the house instead of just the um, like 1200 that these little units can supply. The second piece of equipment that I've got is gonna be in a separate video coming up soon. I've got a 15 kilowatt hour battery um, and it's gonna be with an eight kilowatt inverter running some uh, uh, critical loads here in the house. And then it will have a uh, 10 millisecond switch that will convert over to grid power if that battery drops down. And that's why I now have two sets of solar panels. That's uh, six kilowatts up there to uh, be able to feed both systems. All right, that was just a quick update on what's to come. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up button and stay tuned for more uh, electric content here in the future. I'm Seth with Land the House and I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna go inside because it's cold.